Welcome back. Well, a new museum exhibit is taking us a look at a, a legendary comedian and his special connection to the soldiers and sailors who served in World War II. Jill stopped by the Oregon Historical Society to learn about Bob Hope and his legacy of laughter. How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? This is Bob. That wasn't my scotch that fell out of the plane, Hope. <laughs> I'm here with the executive director of the Oregon Historical Society, Carrie. Why the heck are we holding golf clubs, Tim Chuck? <laughs> and the reason, Carrie, is because we are paying tribute to a man, a comedian, a golfer, too, Bob Hope, who is the center of this new exhibit at the Historical Society. Tell us all about it. Well, it's a traveling exhibit from the World War II Museum in New Orleans, all about Bob Hope and what he did during World War II. Hope was did his entire show for three and a half years on Army bases here in the country, but more often around the world, the Pacific, the Atlantic, traveling the world, performing for the troops. I think we need to put into context for our younger viewers, this man was one of the most famous entertainers, most famous people in the world. Absolutely. Beloved uh, as, a, as a comedian, as a film actor, but he became internationally known for, for caring for the soldiers. A number of these items are from the Bob and Dolores Hope Foundation, including items that uh, Mr. Hope would have had with him during World War II. Absolutely, his suitcase, his diary, his pith helmet that he wore in, up in his shows, 144 shows during the war, 135 of them at military bases. Kerry, during the war, Bob Hope is performing for servicemen all over the world, and they would write him back, in some cases, the most unusual way. Absolutely right. They'd send him fan letters, one fan letter on a coconut, with a stamp on it, delivered to, to, to Bob Hope. Another letter highlighted in here is a letter from a mom thanking Bob Hope for entertaining her son, who was killed several weeks later after seeing Bob Hope, but had sent her a letter saying how much he enjoyed the Bob Hope Show, how much that meant to him. This is an interactive area where you can see, Carrie, the different areas where Bob Hope performed. He's in the United Kingdom, he's in North Africa, Marshall Islands, uh, Papua New Guinea, Australia. This would have been a very uh, dangerous situation, potentially. Very dangerous, and oftentimes he would perform at a, at a show for a large number of troops, and then a general would say to him, you know, there were 50, there were 60 people who couldn't be here because they had to stay on duty. He'd get in the Jeep and go see them. This exhibit focuses on Bob Hope performing during World War II, but this is a tradition that he kept going for decades. Right, Korea, then Vietnam, and then ending in uh, Iraq. He was in his 90s, 80s, late 80s, 90s. He lived to be 100, but even in his uh, the late 80s and 90s, he was entertaining the troops. So ready for laughter here at the Oregon Historical Society, and folks have pretty much throughout summer to come see it? Through mid-August, uh, we're open seven days a week, free as always to all Multnomah County residents. We'll have more information at kptv.com. In the words of Bob Hope, thanks for the memories. You got it. Thanks.